Hi children, let us find the solutions for assignment 5. In this, the question given first about how far can a long tail boat go in 6 hours. So here about long tail boat it is given about how far. What is the meaning of about how far? Means they are asking us about the distance. Can go a long tail boat go in 6 hours. So time is given as 6 hours. Time is given as 6 hours and what is asked here the speed of this long tail boat is given the speed of the long tail boat is 12 kilometers per hour 12 kilometers per hour and what is asked they have asked us what is the distance so we already know the relation between distance time and speed in our last classes we have understood what is the relation distance is equal to time into speed so here distance is asked so distance is equal to time is 6 hours into speed is 12 so 6 12 is our distance that is equal to 72 and always distance is measured in kilometers so it is 72 kilometers so the answer for the first one is distance is 72 kilometers and in the second part if a long tail boat has to travel 60 kilometers, what is kilometer? Uh, which is measured in kilometers? Distance is measured in kilometers. So here what is given? Distance is given. If distance is 60 kilometers, has to travel 60 kilometers, how long will it take? How long? What is the meaning of how long? How long means they are asking us about the time. How much is the time? Whenever we are trying to solve a word, problem first thing we need to understand is first we should read it twice or thrice to understand two important points what are the two important points what is given and what is asked so here distance is given and speed is also given here what is the speed the speed is 12 km per hour so distance and speed is given and time is asked and we already know so these are the very important points that we should know what is given what is asked so we know the relation what is the relation distance is equal to time into speed is the relation so what is the distance here 60 distance is equal to 60 time we don't know and what is the speed speed is 12 so 12 if multiplied by which number we get 60 12 into dash is equal to 60 60 is equal to dash into 12 Come on, you all know the table of 12, so 12 fives are 60, so here time is 5 and time is measured in, time is measured in hours, so it takes 5 hours for this long tail boat if it is going with 12 km per hour to cover 60 kilometers. So these are the solutions for the assignment. Hi children, so in this video we are trying to understand about some problems that are related with the fish market. You know that fish market is considered to be a very noisy place because different sellers shout about what they are selling and what is the price of what they are selling in this fish market. So it is also called as an idiom. This is considered as a very noisy place. Now coming to the problem here, here it is told that Florama sells prawns for rupees 150 a cage. She has sold 10 kg prawns today. How much money did she get for that? Whenever we are trying to solve a word problem, first we need to do is we need to read it twice or thrice to understand two important points. What are the two important points? What is given and what is asked. So here once again, Florama sells prawns for rupees 150 a cage. So this is what is given. One cage is 150 rupees. She has sold 10 kg prawns. She has sold 10 kg of prawns. How much money did she get? How much money did she get? So what are the things that are given? The things that are given is one cage prawns is 150 rupees. And how much she has sold? She has sold 10 kg prawns. And how much money did she get for that? So 
this is given this is given that 1 kg prawns is 150 rupees and she has sold 10 kg of prawns how much money did she get if 1 kg is 150 rupees then the second kg one more kg is 150 rupees one more kg is 150 rupees what are we doing we are doing repeated addition 150 plus 150 plus 150 plus like that 10 times we have to do or there is a shortcut for repeated addition what is the shortcut for repeated addition that is nothing but multiplication so you can simply multiply 150 by 10 and whenever a number is multiplied by 10 there is a very easier way to do it what is that we should simply write the number and after number because it is multiplied with 10 we have to place one zero that's all so 150 into 10 that is equal to 1500 rupees so 10 kg therefore 10 kg prawns will cost us how many rupees 10 kg prawns is equal to rupees 1500 this is how we need to solve it now let us try to understand the second one in this one Fazila says this kingfish weighs rupee weighs 8 kg. I will sell the whole for Rs. 1200. At what price per kg did Fazila sell the kingfish? So what is given here and what is being asked? Fazila says this kingfish weighs 8 kg. So it is weighing 8 kg. And I will sell the whole for Rs. 1200. So, in the what is given here, 8 kg kingfish, it is rupees 1200. This is given. At what price per kg did Fazila sell the kingfish? So, per kg, what is the meaning of per kg? Per kg means 1 kg. So, what is the cost of 1 kg? So, if 8 kg is 1200, what is the cost of 1 kg? So in class 5, what we need to understand is when we need to do multiplication and when we need to do division. This can be done in different methods. Now, if 8 kg is 1200, in our fourth class we have understood about halves and quarters. Now, what is half of 8? The half of 8 is 4 kg. So, if 8 kg is half is 4, what is half of 12? Half of 12 is 6, so 600. So if 8 kg is 1200, 4 kg will be 600. Then what is half of 4? Half of 4 is 2. If half of 4 is 2, what is half of 600? 6. Half of 6 is 3. So 2 kg will be 300. Then what is half of 2 kg? Half of 2 kg is 1 kg. Then what is half of 30? Half of 30 is 15. So 1 kg will be 150 rupees. In this way you can do. And what is the other way? Because a quantity which is more in number is given. 8 kg if it is given. 8 kg is 1200 and 1 kg they are asking. Means price of quantity more quantity is given price of less quantity is asked when price of more quantity is given and price of less quantity is asked what are we doing we are doing repeated subtraction we are trying to subtract one particular number and what is the shortcut for repeated subtraction the shortcut for repeated subtraction is division the shortcut for repeated subtraction is division so simply if you divide 1200 by 8 then also you will get it. This is one method in which you do, you can do it. But in class 5, we should be trying to do it in this method. How to do it? By understanding, by reading the problem, we should understand that this, we will get the answer by dividing. So, dividing what? 1200 by 8. When 1200 is divided by 8. So, you know how to do this division? 1200 is divided by 8. So now we will take 12, we all know 8 table, 8 ones are 8. When 8 is being subtracted from 12, we get 4 and this 0 comes down, 4, 0, 40. So 8 fives are 
40, then 0 and 8 zeros are 0. So, how much is the answer here? 1200 is divided by 8, we get rupees 150. So, in this way also we can do it, in this way also we can do it. Therefore, cost of cost of 1 cage kingfish is how much is this? Is rupees 150. Children, now it's the time for assignment. The first question: Gracie sells fish for sixty rupees a cage. She has sold fifteen cages fishes today. How much money did she get for that? So read the question and see what is given and what is to be found out. Now the second one: Minnie says the fish weighs eight cage. I will sell the whole for rupees sixteen hundred. At what price per cage did Mini sell the fish? Read the question twice, find out what is given and what is to be found out. Thank you and have a nice day.